Hi guys, so I am back to show you the other two little journals that I made uh, with the uh, remaining papers and elements from my previous journal that I just showed. Um, so let's start with this one. This one is a one signature uh, soft cover uh, journal and it measures, this one measures eight and a half by four and a half as well. Fabric cover inside and out and has four metal corners and the spine looks like this. I love the little danglies. I covered the spine, I wrapped some lace and then I added these little dangling flowers. I love that and I left these little uh, tails loose. I just love the movement. The back looks like this. Like I said, I used Seneca Pond's um, Pen Pals Traveler's Notebook Kit and with one printout, I printed out the entire uh, kit. It gave me this little chunky monkey. If you haven't seen that video, uh, go back and, and watch it. And I made that one and this one and this one. Plus, I printed out two sheets of postcards and two sheets of tags, you know, extra for these. And I got three journals out of it. Got a little ta uh, bow here with some flower with a little flower there and let's go oh and I added some glass glitter on the roses and it closes with seam binding stitched all around the cover as you can see so let's go inside oh and I glossy accented the pen love the pen So, oh, my computer's going to start. I have a lace pocket here with a little tag up there that says Sunshine Days. And another library card, just like the previous journal. And this is from her Vintage Ephemera Library Cards Kit. You get so many beautiful library cards. I stitched it and backed it onto coffee dyed paper. Note from the bookmaker and a beautiful card from the kit. Everything in here is from her, her kit. So I don't have to keep repeating it so I don't make you sick. <laughs> So we start off with this beautiful paper that says while you were out. Beautiful trim there. Some onion skin paper. And then we have here this tag that goes in here. I hope I'm not blocking your view too much. And then this opens up. It has a little cute calendar there from 1882 and then this beautiful image and you can actually use this for maybe photos and then it has another spot here you can actually put more stuff in there because it's pretty big so like a little postcard and I've uh, used uh, tea dye and inked um, all around you get you also get a bunch of these tabs in the kit and you get a coin envelopes I have nothing in it but I just hinged it with some flower appliques and use some of this vintage trim that my friend Aaliyah sent me thank you Aaliyah that cute little hot air balloon some muslin uh, not muslin uh, blue burlap holding a postcard backed onto coffee dyed paper 
that goes in there. And I can get it in now. And I just turned this into a little flip. That's um, a little label in the kit. Belly bands. You get belly bands in the kit, and you get these uh, little. They look like little coin envelopes, but they're long. Love the images. And I've got a little tag here with a mason jar. And I've just added that in there. Actually, let's put it this way. I like to see her. Little flip here with a little uh, em magnetic envelope that I've made using Edith Holden paper. And in here, I just have a root card and a, oh, it's a 2008 <clears throat> and a little, uh, what is it? Oh my gosh, I forgot. I went blank. Okay, you get those. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, July is a good month. It's my birth month. Not it's some um, little applique a little applique flower with some bling and this blue crochet. Not blue crochet, blue trim. I punched out uh the edge of this. Got some graph paper. Love that paper. So cute. Some tracing paper because I love the noise. Little baggy another tag and on this one I've added this trim I think Aaliyah sent me this too I don't I don't remember but if it was you thank you Aaliyah I love it so because I saw the course the like that course corset corset I think that's how you say it I added that dress to impress I love it love the feel of it and had a little flip Vintage music sheet, onion skin paper, love the feel of that, that's vintage. Backed onto uh, coffee dye paper. And in the middle of this, I have another little applique flower. Little key dangling. Look at how beautiful that paper is. Oh, I still love it. It's got very faint little scripts. And then in the middle of the signature, I put one of these um, score sheets. Got a little glassine envelope here. And I didn't put nothing in there. I always do this. I always forget to add a little something in somewhere. I don't know why. But you know what it is? I finished these books late last night. So I'll add one of these in there so it doesn't go to whoever it's going to all lonely. There we go. So you have... Uh, New York and one of these that's one of the ones that I added but it's different and you have one of these little guys and this says whispers I use one of her little cards as a uh, corner tuck and then this is a little oh, glue string file folder so cute. Stay there. Stay there. And here you have another little pocket with a little tag. And I added some trim down here. And you get this like, it's like a little die cut and you cut it out and I just did a little flip so you can journal and journal here too 
And then this is onion skin paper. I added one of her tabs there. Vintage music sheet. Another one of her beautiful tags. Another time, another place. Added that beautiful lace at the bottom. It's stitched all around. Got a thread there. Another flip. Let's see what I did with the... I added cheesecloth. You probably can't see it. And then the blue burlap and then the little fly, uh, butterfly uh, eyelash trim and then the little bling. And, and here I added extra journaling in this little baggie. Tracing paper, more of that beautiful rose paper, the inkwell, and the pen. Love that. Oh, my computer's starting. It's going to annoy you. Here we have two little cards backed onto coffee dye paper. Little applique flower. I love these little flowers. I love them because also they, they're flat. So they don't add a lot of bulk. A message card, postcard, back onto coffee dye. Another little flip. Here's another little pocket here with some trim. Let me show you here with some trim. Beautiful little cut apart tag from her kit. And here is a magnetized little trifold that she has. It comes in her kit. And just like the other one, this is eco dyed paper. I wasn't happy with how it came. And you know what it was? I didn't tighten it all the way. Like it was loose. So I really didn't get no impression. But I love the color. I mean, this was white paper. And look at the color it gave me. So yeah, I'll use it, you know, for little things like this. I have to come and show you when I come back to show you my uh, thrift, store, thrift store haul, the ones that I did that I'm pretty happy with. It's summer, so you'll see more um, eco dye paper because now I'm like obsessed with um, cutting leaves and stuff like that and flowers. Another one of her little coin envelope. Love that. All the scripts. Isn't that cute? Just put it in there behind that. This is magnetized. I don't know if I said it. You could put a little maybe the, the date or the year. Guys, give me one second. I gotta turn my computer off because if it doesn't annoy you, it definitely is annoying me. Give me one second. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, it's gonna shut off now. Sorry about that. Another little pocket here with some uh, vintage uh, trim. And this um, is food coloring paper on this side and some rickrack. And I think it was my friend Aaliyah who sent that to me. And I just stitched it there. Backed it on food, um, not food coloring, on coffee dyed paper. More blue burlap with another postcard. This is like doilies on it. Another tab. And two more of her little cards. And then this opens this way for extra journaling. And all the laces are stitched onto the page just like the previous journal. And that is the back. My happy place. Look at how cute he is. Oh my goodness, I can't. <laughs> He's so cute. And another postcard. 
and that is that one guys and that is and I have a little bowl pin here uh, dangling there right there and I I have these bowl pins in my shop different colors multi packs and um, and just uh, one color uh, and I have a lot of colors so that is that one okay and I think I'll call this one uh, one signature inkwell and then I have this little one here and this little one is basically the remainder the bare remainder of the kit um, it's made out of cardstock this one is four and a half by eight and a quarter um, I just added two pieces of cardstock together and so stitched them you know I glued them and then I stitched all around them I simply added uh, these flowers on the spine I always like to do it I just feel like the spine always needs something and plus it just adds more security onto the uh, stitching of the signature this is removable so in case you you don't want to you know because it's really not so bulky in case you don't want to have the seam binding or you probably have another ribbon that you want to use you can do that too here out of the lace here I have a little dangle with a key a lock and made with love the laws are of letter writing I have uh, silver book corners I think I have those in the shop I'm not sure if I sold out and you open it up and you have the beautiful paper so although it's there's no fabric it's still because it's double cardstock it's still pretty sturdy I have one of her beautiful pockets here with a little uh, bow seam binding bow here and a little vintage button that my friend Aaliyah sent me and I just threaded some pink thread through the holes and another Seneca Pons library card love those a little postcard here for this one a letter from the bookmaker a little tag and one of these so that is in the front pocket so on the library card you can put your name so it says collect moments not things beautiful little bouquet has tabs so this is really like a writing journal guys this is more like for writing um, you have a little pocket here okay with a tag on graph paper more of her beautiful paper you got tracing paper coffee dyed paper have a postcard Oopsie, that one wanted to stitch onto coffee dye. You have a little flip, Edith Holden, another tag, love that. I have a little file folder here, you have onion skin paper. I use um, one of her belly bands. This is a little coin envelope. And look at this one. Oh my gosh, I can't. Look at the birds, how cute. All your yesterdays. Isn't that just cute? Look at the birds. I love the birds. So that goes in there. And you get this and I used it as a side tuck well kept secret a, a well kept secret goes in there more onion skin paper beautiful paper 
And here I have magnetized little trifold. Look at how cute. It almost looks like a little wallet, right? And I just added two little coffee dyed sheets in here for extra journaling and I just put it right in here. In the back here I have a little coin envelope with a little tag. And that goes tucked right in there. A little glassy envelope has nothing in it. Uh, let's put something in there. I will add one of these. Let's see what I got. No, I don't want to add that one. Sorry. That's the only thing I got handy. Sorry. <clears throat> more paper. Onion skin paper. More tabs. So see, it's, it's really a writing journal. But you have still um, some things. Another pocket with some more tags in here. And this is from her kit, and I use it as a ta as a, a side tuck. And I even actually ran out of white thread, so I used pink thread. But I think it looks so cute because this collection has a lot of pink. So I actually wish I would have done pink for the whole thing instead of white. Is it, you can see it better. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at the birds. Oh, I love it. I have more of this. Another flip. And then today's schedule, and then I had another piece, but it's this one's in cardstock. It's the same as that. Give you an extra one. Just put it in there in that pocket. And that is the back. And be with who makes you smile. And that is that one. All right, guys. That is the end of that. These are listed in my Etsy shop if you are interested. And again, that is from Seneca Pond Crafts on Etsy. I will leave the link below to her shop. Please check her out. Uh, she has beautiful kits. She just uh, listed a beautiful sewing theme journal. And that is going to be my next project. I have so much vintage uh, sewing notions. I can't wait to get started on that. Um... And she has beautiful, beautiful things for everyone. So, thank you so much, Eileen, for this beautiful collection. I love it. And uh, I'm off to my next project. And I will be back to show you my little uh, thrift store haul. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great, great weekend.